Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to SimUK. This is Red Solstice 2 Survivors. This is the second in the Red Solstice series. I didn't play the first one. And um, when I got access to this from 505 Games, I didn't really think it was going to be a game uh, that was really going to interest me. But then when I saw them playing in it, I thought, wow, that's um, that's got something. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful to look at. And it it's actually... It looks quite in-depth and a lot more detailed than I originally gave it credit for. I've had some more, I've had some issues with this. This is an alpha version. This isn't the same version that you'll get access to. But um, I, I really struggled to get it in full Ultra HD. I've managed to do it now using full screen, but using uh, anything else, just kind of the resolution just kept changing all the time. So um, that's something to look out for. Um, and I don't know whether it's just because I'm recording or what. But uh, yeah, I just had a few issues with that. And I just wanted to tell you about that. Now, I'm not very good at this game. And the reason reason why I'm not very good at this game is because I haven't spent enough time on it, really. But it's not just that. It's also the, the controls and the way that things work are a little bit... They're kind of unique. And as such, they're not exactly intuitive. Now you can change all the keybinds and everything as much as you like, so there's there's loads of opportunity to get things working better, and probably because I'm not used to the original or, or not familiar with the original, I don't really know uh, what I don't know, if that makes sense. <sighs> okay, so that's the introduction. Um, now, as always, unlike most YouTubers out there, I'm not. Oh, look how good I am at this one game. I am. Look at this game. This game that I'm trying to showcase to you is pretty cool, I think. And it doesn't matter if I'm good at the game or if I'm bad at the game. So this is not a video of, look how good I am. It's a video of, what do you think of this game? Uh, just like all my videos, really. Uh, so let's go, let's do the campaign. We'll put it on, uh, oh my God, we'll put it on normal because I really do struggle with it. And I'm going to go with the tutorial uh, and let's go. Quite complex, I think. I've got voice attack running in the background as well. Just to see if I can add Each a bit of night falls, je ne sais quoi. We see a bright light in the Martian sky. It is not a star. It is a planet we used to call home. Earth was devastated by mutants two centuries ago. Our dream has always been to take it back. A dream that turned into a nightmare. Well, the backstory is pretty cool. Oh God. We found you. What on Mars Command, is this? do you prefer? Acknowledged. New objective is to secure the perimeter. What a navy to secure. Target eliminated. We're being overrun. Put your ground damage in the ceiling. Command, this is Unit 8. I'm the only one left. I need backup. Executor unit activated. Initiating recovery process. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So press space bar to focus the camera on your character. This this is like a tutorial. Um, and there were some reviews on this game that came out way back that I didn't have access to. And one of the things that pretty much they all said, because I went and checked it out to see if I was an idiot or something, and they pretty much all said... I've found the controls a little bit difficult to get to grips with. Those who have played the original, you'll be up and running in no time at all. But the rest of us are going to struggle somewhat. So this is my character here, or my main character Primary here. metabolism fully recovered. Welcome back, Executor. I'm Emma, an artificial Amy. intelligence program in the service of the Founders. I will continuously update your map with markers and plot a course to rendezvous with a nearby marine team pinned near the helipad. Now, this is not exactly a review because I really don't know the game well enough uh, to really feel like I can give a proper review on this one. Um... But she's there telling me that she's going to update my map with information and stuff. I see these icons popping up on the screen, but on the map, I don't think I see anything. Um, and it's kind of these, the things that don't quite tally that throw you all over the place. 
So I've got two weapons. I've got a main weapon and I've got a secondary weapon. If I press Q, then that brings out my second gun and I can like really decimate. It's basically like a shotgun. No, it's a flamethrower, this one, sorry. And it will um, do lots of damage. And you can see that I'm aiming with my little reticule. Um, I don't know what the, the range is. It's probably about there or something. Um, and you can see I've got a light as well. And apparently you do more damage to these aliens when they're in the light than when they're in the dark. Pr presumably that's an accuracy thing. So if I now press uh, Q again, it swaps me back to my main gun. You can see this over here. And we've got two types. We've got Overwatch, which detects and fires at monsters within 18 meters, not blocked by obstacles, and it retarget the retargeting delay is 0 0.4 seconds, and it reserves 30 energy. You've also got the Shift button, which allows you, with your main gun, to... Uh, to aim and shoot at somebody. So maybe you can get like a critical shot and kill them. Other than that, there's not much I can tell you. So there you go. We've put ourselves into Overwatch. Spacebar centers the camera. And this is the tutorial. It's just like, press the button, press the button, press the button. But if you look at my map here, there's not really any indication of where the room ends. You see how that hallway and that room kind of just merge together. So the map isn't all that helpful to get you from places A to B. Um, and what I've got to do essentially is find a door or an exit point or something like that. I forget where. Forget where the door is. Ah, there's the door. Is that the door? Yes. But do you see how that doesn't show up on my map at all? It's things like this make it just that little bit more difficult to navigate. Plus, you've got this massive white thing here, which, in my opinion, gets in the bloody way. Um, and I've I've just kind of struggled to get into this game. Watching the uh, the professional play, like the developer play, um, was really quite impressive because he knows what he's doing. Um, and he not only does he know what he's doing, he does it really quickly and efficiently, whereas me, eh, I'm like, uh, which button was that again? How do I do this? Like trying to detonate an explosive took me about 20 minutes to finally figure out how it worked. I think it looks gorgeous and it kind of like uh, some ammunition on the floor there. A couple of bad guys. We'll just go into Overwatch. We'll reload. Okay, reload is R, obviously. I say obviously, I'm not sure if it's actually told us that it's R, but it is R. Present Marines are considered expendable. Continue advancing forward. What does that mean? So you can see some enemies have popped up here. And you can see where the screen thing is. But, uh, okay, let's go. Let's go step forwards. Test out your system skill. Zero of two actions used. So that's like my super weapon. That's used by pressing F, and each character has uh, different weapons and such. Different abilities, and so on and so forth. Oh, stimulants. And poisons and stuff. So down here, I think this is like our energy or something. And this is our overall health. Um, but there are parts of this game <laughs> where I just cannot get stuff. So we've got this overview thing. Character information, current rank, and current experience. The backpack is my inventory for items that I find. I can use these items until they're depleted. Skills that can be leveled up by gathering experience and then used utility skills that cannot be leveled up are on the right-hand side. 
Health represents the amount of damage you can take before death. Energy represents a value resource used for skills. So these are your skills here. So you can like upgrade these by clicking on that. And you can see now I've got this one dot here. Uh, and that's because I picked something up. But what it was that I picked up, I don't really get. I don't. There are so many things that I don't understand. Obviously, you've got explosive barrels, etc. Reloading, cover me. So I wasted some ammo by doing that, which was pretty stupid. E Overwatch targets any enemy nearby, yes. But do you see how the tutorial there, because I already had, uh, excuse me, because I already had Overwatch turned on, the tutorial kind of made me press the E button so that I had Overwatch turned on, but because I already had it turned on, I've now turned it off. So the tutorial, it really isn't too good. It really isn't too good. Um, it's effective though the overwatch middle mouse button to target manual targets okay I can't get through that door is that what you're telling me I'm going to give myself a health boost Uh, and then I'm going to try and figure out where I am. I see there's a lot of enemies about. Are we going this way? I think we're going this way. No, nope, that's a window. There it is. Got 14 rounds left. I've just noticed that there's something here and here. Is it this? Is it the power? Quite sure what the yellow indicator on the map is. There's one over here as well. Can I get to that at all? Just gonna press on I, I get confused so easily in this game about where i am where i'm going what the icons mean there's just so many things i'm like um what we're we gonna meet up with our uh with our teammates soon enough oh yeah look at this ammo shut the door so nobody can come in behind us Okay, so we've got lots of ammo, I think. Uh, where it shows me how much ammo we've got, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know how I know how much ammo I've got. I don't know if you can know how much ammo you've got. It's like all the basics. Extreme caution is advised as the complex is now overrun by hostile mutants. Roger. I've updated your map with a suitable extraction area. Q, my secondary weapon is a, a strong. Use them when I'm in trouble. So uh, if I press the middle mouse button, I can auto aim. Try and not stand uh, in the uh, in the fire because that's obviously very, very da dangerous for me. But uh, we'll try and sneak around the edge. Kind of baddy things. I know I'm supposed to be following this yellow arrow, by the way. It's just, it's not as easy as you might think it is. That's my secondary weapon, the flamethrower. Very effective. Almost immediate kills. 
and figure out where we are. I think we got some baddie guys down in this corner here, so let's walk over there a bit. I really wish I was better at this game because it's such a quality game. And like I say, watching the the dev play it um, really made my eyes open and think, oh my god, this game has got some real, real potential. Tell me to go back into Overwatch. Good job too, because I didn't see any of them. Uh, like I say, I've heard that shooting enemies in the light does more damage than shooting enemies in the dark, but I don't know that to be true. Oof, crikey. That made me jump. And that's that's another thing, is this game <laughs> will make you jump as well, which is really cool. <laughs> really cool for this type of game. What do you want me to do? Overwatch. Yeah, I've done it. Why is it still there? Searching targets. Don't understand why I have to press Overwatch three times. Is that how they think I'm going to learn? Just muscle memory? Maybe they're right. Maybe that is the way to do it. Right, we're going to get into a little bit of a battle now. Very soon. Just at the end of this this bridge. And then I'll show you the, uh, the explosive thing. Which I had real trouble with. It's these, the executor! These were our team. About time. Wait, where are the others? Oh, never mind. Evac is on the way, but my tracker is picking up a lot of movement. Get ready for a fight. So one of the things I think is cool is if you get behind a bit of cover, he automatically takes cover and you do have better Chances cover. Chances for survival will drastically increase if you set up the explosive turret. I recommend you do that now. So we've picked up the explosive turret, Place which you the see turret here. in the location I have designated to maximize its efficiency. Yeah, I don't really want to put it there. I want to put it here. I'm going to press Control E. Is it going to force me to put it there? I don't know. Yeah, it is. So okay. No, did it... right here we go. This is this is it, right? Drop is Shift E. If I select it. Place it there. Incoming for the founders. I see. Even though I've already done this before, I still don't quite get it. So, if anybody happens to get through our uh, defences, then I shall be uh, using my secondary. But I think we're going to be all right. Obviously, we got. Do you, see, do you see this machine gun here? Do you see how it hasn't shot at anybody yet? That's why I didn't want to put it where she told me to put it, because it doesn't actually seem to fire. I've created a nice fire area. Attention all units. The solar weapon system has been activated. Ah, oh, hell. That's right on top of us. See, I don't know what my character's doing there, look. Executor, be climbing advised. over, climbing Your over, climbing over. are needed for the solar mainframe protocols. Extraction is aborted. Proceed to the communications array. <laughs> You're joking, right? Stole that crap. We knew this would be a suicide run. Executor, we have your back. Okay, so basically, uh, explosives are required for the most suitable route to the solar control room. I have marked the nearest explosive material. See, the gun is firing at them now, but it didn't fire once before. Uh, anyway, uh, this satchel here is the thing that you've got to blow up, right? Now, I get it, follow the arrow, but this thing here. The way that's sort of flashing and centralizing, it's obviously a landing pad. First of all, that really drew my attention to it and made me think I had to place the bomb there, but you don't. So uh, I won't waste that time. Can I repackage this? Can I grab it? No, can't do anything with it. Okay. 
So I've got to put the explosive over here on this little circle. Okay, let's see if I can do it first time. Drop is Shift E, but I don't want to drop it. So let's select it. Private, Lift, click. stay back. Watch out for the explosive radius. Yes, sir. So I can't move him out of the way, but that's it, right? And G. I don't know if they've done something to that, but that was not working before. We'll cover you, Executor. I think what I had the to do in the end. all of Tharsis is lost. There's nothing more to save here. I ask only one thing. Send all these mutant freaks to hell. So I've just worked out that I can use this heal thing. But the heal seemed to heal this and not my health, which, again, I don't quite fully get. I've got these uh, other abilities here. Sprint, the energy blade, which um, I showed you a minute ago. It's actually starting to make a bit more sense this time around than it did the first time. But the last time I had to blow up that explosive, it didn't want to blow up at all. Um, it just, I had to press and hold it for such a long time. It was crazy. Right. Target eliminated. And I didn't see any of these stall samples either last time. Let's just boost my health a bit because I am looking a little bit worse for wear. There are people who are going to be so much better at this game than me. That's basically what I'm saying to you. Whoops. Have we lost somebody? I think we lost a guy. Did he die when the explosive blew up? We've got to be real careful here, obviously. Okay. This is our escape pod thing. I think it looks stunning. If you compare this to Red Solstice 1, uh, the difference in terms of graphics is unbelievable. I like that this bit I really like. Tharis colony destroyed. Tharis colony in region Tharis has been destroyed. Uh, emergency extraction. Initiate dropship scans of current region. Complete emergency extraction mission. Inspect soldiers in armory. Executor, welcome to the land ship. This will be your base of operations from now on. All research and development projects will take place on it. So this ship is basically the solar us. solar is an orbital weapons platform built upon the surface of Phobos. This was the first combat firing, which inadvertently destroyed all Mars communication infrastructure. The world map allows you to access and dedicate yourself to specific combat deployments while making strategic decisions, such as building, scanning, and expanding regional influence. I think she stopped talking. So basically, this ship is us, or um it's where we deploy to and there are different things that will pop up and something they all have sort of different implement implications uh some things that um will be more difficult than others that require certain abilities certain number of people that kind of thing um but the whole interface just confuses me so much i think they've updated it since i last played it which was about two weeks ago fair fair enough um, so the explosive was much easier to use. That's how it should have been two weeks ago. And maybe I'd have got more into it, but that's just the very opening intro tutorial thing. I've got to go because my daughter's here. So I'm going to cut this one short, but I'll come back and I'll get some more gameplay in. It's absolutely stunning to play. I think it's glorious. The explosions, the fire, the, the audio, there's a whole load of really good stuff here. I'm just no good at this game, despite trying to get the to grips with it 
there are much, much better players than me. If you want to really see what this game is all about, then I kind of recommend you go somewhere else, which, again, is not something YouTubers are really meant to do. But this I just don't feel like I can do NPC. this game justice. Unknown forces have destroyed Tharses. Many suspect Elysium itself, but some claim Strahl has arrived on Mars. So far, all these... So I think if you've played Solstice 1, uh, then you're going to just understand so much more about this game than I do. Um, but I've looked at some Solstice 1 gameplay, and graphically we're on a completely different planet, literally. Um, but uh, there are similarities, and but watching people play the old one, it just seemed really different. Anyway... It looks gorgeous. It sounds gorgeous. It's definitely worth a look. If this is the type of game that you're into, then I highly recommend you go check it out. I'm just... I really struggle to click with this game, which is annoying because I really want to click with this game because I think it's gorgeous. But I'll, I'll keep pummeling away and maybe maybe something will fall into place. But I am struggling at the moment. and It's not, it's not a pick-up-and-play type game. There are other games where you pick up and everything just sort of makes sense without having to even read the tutorials or do anything like that. This game really isn't like that, but it's also got a lot of depth to it. So you've really got to master these basics before you can get into the really good stuff. And that's where I'm struggling. I've hardly shown you anything yet. We've got loads and loads of stuff to look at, which apparently I can't click on at the moment. Uh, you've got like this whole upgrade system, which... I, I haven't really got into, so I don't know exactly how how much the game will change based on these changes, but I imagine it's quite considerable. you got all these stats. I mean, look how much stats there are. Damage taken, 2,230. Damage dealt, 89,815. Um, but there are things. If you go into the armory... The armory loadout allows you and your soldiers to gear up before each combat deployment. Um, but again, it's like, well, what do I do? <laughs> Colors. Okay, fine. Uh, so I can be an assault mark, uh, five, uh, six or a medic mark six, but what sort of implication does that have? Um, I've got this stuff here, critical hit level zero, grenade level zero, buckshot. If I click on that, all this stuff comes up and it's like, I just, I don't fully get what any of it is. Remove a module before you can. Now I'm assuming the tutorial is going to go on and help me learn all this stuff, but it's just so completely overwhelming to start with. It's also multiplayer, uh, which could be very interesting. I think that could be the most interesting, actually, in multiplayer. I can imagine seven guys. I mean, just look at the animation and the detail on the characters. It's really, really good. Um, and again, if you compare that to Solstice 1, it's it's on another level. It's really, really, really transformed since the original. I find the original a little bit difficult to watch, like from 1990s. But, but this is definitely something else. That's why I want to get into it, but I'm struggling. Anyway, that's my honest um, initial opinion on this game. I'm going to keep struggling away with it for a little bit. I mean, if you're interested in seeing more, please do let me know. But um, I, I just, I'm not sure I'm going to be the right person to showcase this game. Um, you know, I, I gave my word. I said I would. I'd put some time into it, and I have. I've struggled. I've struggled to get past the even the easy stuff at the beginning. Um. Does that mean I've got four points? Oh, all right, let's do this. Max health, max health, and resilience. So that was pretty good. So these ones cost you one point. These cost you two point. Uh, so my health has gone up by 20. My resilience has gone up by 0 0.02. So when I get hit, it will take less damage. It's got a lot of depth. It's got a lot of depth, a lot of depth. And I'm just hoping something clicks and it all falls into place because I just I feel completely overwhelmed. God, I think I've waffled on long enough about this. It's a quality game. Uh, if you like the original, you're definitely going to like this. That's that's as far as I've got. And 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to upload the footage that I um, have from the um, sort of promo video that they put together for us. Uh, I'll have to check on that because the gameplay footage that they showcase there is so much better than what I'm going to be able to show you. That's why I'm really sort of struggling to get anything out on this game because they they the way they play it and the way I play it are totally different. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's all I can do for you in this particular video, but I'll come back and I'll get some more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.